Action Base Storage Unit number one. We don't have time for a deal today, but we do need to get this guy ready for sale, which we picked up at auction for $148. Some guy's gonna look at it, he wants to give me $3,000. I like that. Well, the problem is we have to get it plugged in. This is a 54 inch sign cutter plotter. Yeah, these computer monitors are picked up at auction by the pallet load. It turned out to be about 97 cents a monitor. They are 17 inch beauties. What are in all those boxes? <laughs> about 3,000 retail ready coax cables. Selling on eBay for about five bucks a pop. These were about 20 cents each. Light bulbs galore. Printers, more printers, more printers. This one was a dollar at auction. So it is the moment of truth. They're going to plug in the $3,000 fodder. Maybe worth $20, maybe worth $3,000. working? It is. Just press the power button. Oh yeah. She's alive. Seems to be working. I don't know what that means. But that is a great, great sign. Edgar Eisenhower Cousin has been a professional eBayer for over a decade, creating his first account while still in high school. Most e-traders these days have the advantage of reading guides and books before beginning to deal goods online. But when Eddie started, those manuals didn't exist. And he had to learn many things the hard way, such as being able to spot fake imports. Starting off small, Eddie began selling old clothes and unsold yard sale items online. But things changed with a pair of socks. An easy sale consisting of one pair of his old dirty socks to a gentleman overseas who apparently had a foot fetish. To most people, a strange sale to say the least, but to Eddie, simply a sale worth $100. When he realized exactly how large the market was, his operation expanded. He teamed up with his father Bill as an investor, and they took things to the next level such as buying Nissan Maximus in Chicago and selling them in Seattle, where on average they're worth $2,000 more. Buying and selling used door openers at hotels going out of business. Snatching up pallets of portable bidets and hospital lights for $1. In July, Eddie had one of the best deals of the year. Responding to an ad for a cheap couch, he arrived at the home to find out that the whole family living there was returning to Thailand because they had expired visas. Eddie gave his sympathy, looked around, bought the couch, and then everything else in their home for $2,000 cash. But buying and selling of this kind isn't all Eddie does. He also operates a digital pawn shop, putting people's goods on e-consignment for a percentage of the profit from their eBay sale. Autographed copy of Half-Life 1. Woohoo! By the whole team. Chuck Jones. That was a good eBay item if I can... I can verify the signatures. They're real, yeah. I know, they, I know some of these guys. Shouldn't have used, um, what is that ink that you, uh, dry erase ink? <laughs> Eddie is known as the man that can sell anything. His motto is every item has a buyer, but some of the things people send him are so obscure, his theory is often put to the test. The item that I am holding is a towel warmer. This is sells for approximately between $500 and $1,000. Put your towel on it, Fresh, hot, dry, warm, beautiful towels to wrap around you. I do. I have no idea how to sell this thing. I heard that Eddie can sell this item. I heard he can sell anything on eBay. Essentially always on the job, Eddie makes his own hours. And although his girlfriend Rohila is busy with her new venture, Pop the Cork Events, they still make time to take advantage of everything that living in the Northwest has to offer, such as hiking, camping, 
skiing, and running marathons. Eddie and Rohila have been together a long time and have a strong relationship. But sometimes when it comes to his work, Ro feels she has to police his, quote, excessive hoarding. Where are you going to put it, Eddie? <laughs> Isn't it okay right here? No, it's not okay in the backyard. Are you kidding me? I mean, there's a lot of tools, that's fine, but the rest of the stuff is all crap. Why don't you just take the good stuff? But I kind of like just taking it all. Yeah, but now you have to store it until you get rid of it. Apparently the backyard isn't the best spot for storing my inventory. No, it's not. Just figure it out. Get rid of it fast. Tally Villain Entertainment.